All right, this is the Rubius Arcos channel, and this is me, Q Dome. I'm back again doing another one of my videos. And today we are doing a video on F, well, not F, but NFTs, which is non fungible tokens. Ugh. What do I gotta say about those? Well, first of all, looking at what the hell they are. Basically, it's something that's not even physical. We already got crap like that with the DLC stuff. Where you're buying clothes or weapons or what have you. And that has gotten to an insane, egregious amount of madness within itself. And this just doesn't make it any better because basically what a NFT is, is a token for you to buy something that is not physical. And is, you know, is non-negotiable. Pretty much, it says it within the letters itself. You can't take it back. It's like if you buy a freaking hat that was digital, it's yours. But keep in mind, you're paying real world money for the daggone NFT for the tokens to get that item. And it's most likely possible that that item will not increase in value for what it for what it is. It will just be yours and that's it. I can't even look at this even from a nostalgia point of view and see a good use for it. It seems just completely pointless. It seems like something that has been conjured by scammers or just really rich people to basically just make more money if you look at it in the whole because why would I want to buy something that's non-tangible and have it or look at it when I could sit there and look at it for free. I'm just saying. I mean, doesn't make a lot of sense when you think about it. Not really. And the whole system to set up with it, the whole blockchain, and oh, the authentication and all that other business, it all can be hacked. All that stuff can be altered and manipulated. And when you look at it, from an even closer perspective, it says a whole lot, especially dealing with the art world. Because with that, you have a certain group of people who decides what is worth something and what is worth nothing. It's kind of like saying who gets to have something and who doesn't get to have anything. Or who gets to be successful and who doesn't. And with the NFTs, I kind of look at it the same way. Is 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 something that can't be trusted. It's just like it's just like the goddamn cryptocurrency shit. That's another questionable goddamn thing. And I don't have to tell you how many scams is out there with the cryptocurrency. I've had people literally at my job. Well, actually, only one person, to be exact, that have tried to convince me that I should invest in cryptocurrency and that I would be crazy if I did not. How much would you want to bet that somewhere I don't want to learn that someone is going to probably try to convince me to get with the NFTs thing, too? Just saying. Unless money this totally becomes totally 
obsolete and gold and silver and regular leaf resources. I look at it like this. Don't even come at me with that stuff. Because people are always going to be needing money. People will always be needing natural resources. Those things are not going away no time soon at all. That's just plain and simple. It's, you know, that's just, just the way the system works. This is just something else just to bolster the, the, the fat cats or the corporate, corporate folks so they can get freaking more money. You know, making hype where there's no hype. Making something valuable that doesn't have no value at all. It's, you know, it's the same thing when you go dealing with art. Art is only valuable to those people who decide that it's valuable. Aside from that, it doesn't have no value at all. It's, you know, it's all subjective, if nothing else. There's something to think about for the masses. Um, I really don't want to see NFTs become a thing in video games. We already got freaking, you know, damn DLC, people chopping up the video game and making it, you know, pieces here and then making you pay full piece there. And it's, you know, I'm already pissed off with that. Keeping in mind that, you know, unfortunately I had bought in some, some, you know, that downloadable account cat. Blah. Don't downloadable content because I wanted it. You know, if it was free, you know, it'd be a whole lot better. I personally don't feel that we need DLC. You know, back a long time ago, back in my day, it used to be expansion packs. My personal opinion, the, uh, the game that probably did it best was probably the damn Witcher. They did it. They did it, Wes, because literally it's almost like you're getting a whole game. And I feel like, you know, if if it was done like that, then maybe I was, uh, it would be more worth it. Aside from that, not worth it. NFTs, not good. I don't care how much people talk about how great they are or whatever. And this whole, you know, buzz about, people buying, you know, freaking, you know, pixels and like video, like small video footage of stuff and all that, all that junk can be staged just for them, just for a certain group of masses of people to make it look like it's something that it really isn't. It's basically kind of like creating the illusion of wealth where there is no wealth to be found in the first place. Something to be totally leery of. There's plenty of scams and pyramid schemes out there. I mean, you look at Bernie Madoff or, or Madoff, whatever his name was, you see how he scammed people. I feel like with this it's another is another example of something that's created just to scam the hell out of out of uh, you know out of people like ourselves gamers y'all need to be smart and vigilant because there's more madness like this coming down the pipes aside from that that's pretty much my take on nfts not feeling it Yes, Misty, I see you. The kitty is here. You know, that's it. I don't got nothing else to say about it. And, um... I hope you enjoy the video. Hit that subscribe button. And keep watching. This is Q-Doma out.